Hi, how are all of you doing today? Good, how are you? How are you? I'm doing good. I got a nice little laugh from the movie. I'm in a good spirit now. Good. You know, one of the first questions that I had for all of you is you spend so much time in your career is putting a smile on all of our faces and help making us laugh. But what do you do to make sure that you can spread some cheer to yourself? Oh, that's a great question. Mm. I think I watch other comedies. Mm. I watch Friends. Yeah, Friends is That's good. my favorite, favorite thing ever in the history of the world. You know what I was watching during this is uh, Schitt's Creek. Oh, yeah. While oh, we yeah. were shooting Schitt's this. Creek. It was so great, and it took me forever to like catch on to it. But it, it was it made me so happy, and and I slept really well. I was sleeping so much better because normally I watch Dateline before bed. But Ooh. during shooting the bubble, we were watching Schitt's Creek, and I slept so much better and was so much like in a better mood, just happier. Watch Schitt's Creek. Don't well, Dateline is good too. I don't know. Oh. Depends on where you are in your life. <laughs> That's yeah. so true. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I watched Shades Quick and I'm absolutely upset. I think it's genius. Yeah. And especially the fifth season. It's yeah. Incredible. Um, but yeah, watching more com comedies because we need it. And especially in times like this. Yeah. Let's make the world a little bit li lighter, mm -hmm. brighter. Yeah. Brighter, not lighter. Both. Both. And we communicate with people that are funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just want to say, Leslie, thank you for letting the world know that Dateline is a horror show. Okay? It's horror. Just it want people is. to know. It's horrid? It's horror. It it's literally, horror? yeah, it literally terrifies me. My mom will make me watch horror. Dateline with her. And I was just like, this is too much for my spirit. I just can't do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> horror. No. Oh, it's a horror. Yeah, yeah. Horror. So, um, I, 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 you call it horror. Hold it, horror. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, I know it is. Yeah, but then uh, sometimes. It's entertaining. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, sort of. See, I'm telling on myself. It's like a horror, but it's still interesting to watch. Oh, it, yeah. It's morbidly fascinating, yeah. always. Mm -hmm. But also, too, one of the things that I love in this is, you know, Karen, even with your character, you know, she's trying to advocate, you know, for all of the mm -hmm. actors. And I really wanted to know for all of you, like, how do you make sure that you're advocating for yourself, like while you're filming on set? How do you make sure that you're working in safe conditions and that you're able to have the freedom to speak up when needed? Oh, that's a oh. good question. I mean, I've always felt OK kind of expressing myself if I don't feel like something is safe but generally everything has been pretty well run that i've been in um maybe there was like one really scary stunt one time and they wanted me to like jump off of this thing and then swing and they were like oh don't um don't bang into the metal plate just avoid that when you're in the air and i was like what um and then i i said i don't think i can do this and it was in that voice <laughs> And then the director was like, you know what? You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Um, so that was a moment where I was like, I think I need to say something and I don't know how to do it. So let me just say it in the most ridiculous voice possible. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> that worked. I feel like young people don't really know how to do it, yeah. how to advocate for themselves. Yeah. And yeah. then as you get older, mm -hmm. you do you learn but then you remember these times when you were younger that you did the craziest things that you should have never done mm -hmm. so i always tell my daughters like don't ever let anybody do this to you don't le ever let anybody you know like put you in this position don't ever and they don't listen <laughs> <laughs> maybe they they'll remember that voice when they're put into a scary situation yeah it's okay. good advice though you know because it is really hard to navigate those yeah. situations with normal voices too. Please. <laughs> no, no, well, please. Just, I don't, I don't want to. I'm just gonna make sure I speak in a crazy voice now. That's that's how it works. <laughs> how it eases the mood. Well, yeah, look, I mean, <laughs> well, look, I just want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I really, really appreciate all of you talking with me, and I'm just sending love and light all of your ways. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you. Nice you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are all of you doing today? Hello, Hello. good, thank you. 
Look, one of the first questions that I wanted to ask all of you is, you know, you spend so much time making, you know, everyone at home and in theaters smile and laugh. I want to know for you, like, what do you do to bring yourself some cheer? Mm, that's a good question. That is a good question. Um, I sometimes do like very, very, very bad painting. I think it's quite <laughs> a nice, like, therapeutic thing, but never anything that I could ever show. Yeah. Um, me, I think ever since I've been in LA, there's been so much sun, so I just have unnecessary barbecues. Because in the UK, we can't do that because it's always raining. But in LA, you just be like, hey guys, uh, yeah, you come around. I'm having, I'm having a barbecue. And it was just like three people having this like, massive barbecue because of sun. Nice. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I just think we'll read like a, a Buddhist self-help book and just go, why isn't it working for me? Why isn't it working? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Get in the moment, damn it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, it's really interesting with this film because I have to say that, you know, with some of the COVID films that have come out, it kind of just like, mm, it's not the time yet. I'm not ready to go there. But watching this, it kind of felt like, okay, like this is all of kind of the funny things, if anything could be funny about COVID, but that's kind of the things you remember even going back to when you were first COVID tested and how everyone was so afraid of it. I want to know why was now the right time to release this movie? Well, we'll find out if it, if it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I tried to anticipate uh, the idea that people would want to make fun of it because in a way, it's, you know, it's been so stressful and painful but yet there is something to laugh about how we behaved and how we tried to get through it and what isolation felt like so yeah, in the middle of COVID I thought what if we made the movie that made fun of it and release it when it feels like we're getting to the end of it mm -hmm. and hopefully people want to laugh because it's a way we connect about this common experience that we've had. Mm -hmm. But I mean speaking of those kind of those times of isolation all of the the crazy hobbies that we picked up during the pandemic, you know, what are some of your memories of like some of the craziest things that you had to endure during COVID? I think like for the entirety of lockdown, I had an unfinished puzzle on the table <laughs> that I like very optimistically was like, I'm going to do this. It's going to take two days and I'm going to become amazing at puzzles. Um, and <laughs> I just refused to move it and never, <laughs> never completed it. <laughs> so... Hilarious. I, I tried to I tried to bake banana bread because I remember there was this yeah. whole phase where everyone was baking banana bread and I was like okay cool if I can get this right then I'll be able to <laughs> bake some more. I never got it right and I realized I can never be a baker. <laughs> that, and that burning, was the moment. That was the that moment. I kept burning everything. I was like yeah. oh gosh this isn't for me. I'm going to move on to something I had, else. I had the same thing with bread. So many people were making amazing loaves and I didn't realise you had to take it out of the little, like, the, 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 the proving the, yeah, thing. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, it smells like burning and it, <laughs> it was inedible, of course. I got an app to, to learn Spanish and then I did it for, like, 15 minutes and then never looked at it again. I did now that now well. he's fluent. So. <laughs> you have to give lessons now. You have to give us lessons. <laughs> I mean, but one of the, another thing that I do love about this film is it talks about how to advocate for yourself. And I wanted to ask all of you, um, how do you make sure that even in these work settings that you are comfortable enough and that you can give yourself the voice to advocate for yourself? Uh, for me, I think, you know, the, the, the crew and especially being locked inside for so long, having a gang of people who are like so cool and chill and everyone kind of gets each other and mm -hmm. you know we had so many conversations because some of the cast are British, some of the cast are American, Bulgarian, you know so it was really nice to have different conversations and everyone kind of stood up for each other and then to have a captain just be like what do you guys want to do? <laughs> it's yeah. like, like that always makes it you know easy and uh Easy, an easy setting to work in. Yeah, I think it never then the, it never felt like you couldn't say something, yeah. which was I think very special and very absolutely made it so much more enjoyable. I think. Okay, you better have a great work environment. Can you come teach my job? Just have <laughs> 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 well, look, I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just sending so much love and light all of your ways. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank all you right. so Thanks much. Be well. Take care. Take care.